Hello everyone, it is I, Pyron here, doing another unboxing figure review. This time, we have another Warhammer figure. This time being the Adeptosaurus the Gemini Superior 1. Uh, this right here is a Jotoy brand figure line of the Warhammer series. Then I am actually familiar with this because I do have another figure of this. That being the Order of the Bloody Sisters, Battle Sisters. This one right here. Because I do keep my Warhammer figures, or at least the ones that I really like, right next to me. A little bit uh sneak peek of that one because I will be doing a review of this one. Uh, later down the line, but was out of the way. Let's do the unboxing of the Gemini Superior And we're back and now time to unbox this. Now to unbox this uh, Very simple top part. So I usually unbox these and you just slide out Box right here. Just got to make sure these uh, uh, Cardboard flaps are open and boom got the whole figure right there overall uh, First things first, let's show a little bit of the box. Box pretty nice showing the detail of the, of the Depthsortis Gemini Superior figure, looking pretty well. And this one actually comes with a stand, unlike the other one. But this one is meant to come with a stand, just because she is meant to be flying up high, because she does have the wings. Overall, the figure looks pretty nice. Out of, uh, still in the box and whatnot. Overall, a little bit floppy head, but that's probably because it's probably loose. Now time to open it up. And to be careful, because there are small little pieces. And I gotta make sure these don't go flying out. Because they kind of did, when I opened my... Uh, Battle Sisters the last time around because the little tiny hands do go flying around. So this box over here. Ooh, and it's first things first. Yep, and oof, oh no. That's not good. There we go. Ooh, not bad, not bad at all. And first off, figure looks pretty nice. Looking well. Not bad, not bad at all. I did a little bit worries about the neck part, but I thought it's probably just come out. I don't know, yeah. So I was a little bit worried. I thought this thing was ripped and whatnot, but no, it's just the ball joint being because these are on ball joints for the neck, so not, it's not bad at all. Overall, the sculpting and detailing this is pretty well. Your arms and stuff, overall, it's my pack. I'm pretty sure this could come off, right? Yeah, I can this can come off. These have these are pegs right here that you can see right there. Comes off pretty nice. So we'll put her on the side, see what else she comes with. She comes with her ceremonial claws. Uh, again, I'm not too in-depth into my Warhammer. I really need to get more studying on that. But I do know some of these because I have been playing and I've been doing a little more stuff. Plus, also have other people let me know Warhammer stuff. But I do know some of the weaponry. Right here, we got the little bolter right here. That looks pretty nice. The painting and detailing is pretty snazzy as hell. Uh, the good old bolter. Pretty sure there's a 50. I'm pretty sure the bolt is at 50 cals. We got a power sword right here and the detail into this is pretty nice. Let's see if we can get the camera to magnify on this. I do apologize if the camera's not falling following. Oh, I'm trying to see. There we go. Camera should be doing well for this. I do apologize if the camera's refused to focus on this. But nice. It comes with bolters. Come with Ooh, that's gonna fall. Comes with multiple f hand figures right here. We got two open ones. Uh, we got one close fist one. We got two of the open ones to hold the weaponry. And they got one trigger one right here for the bolter. So I know which one's gonna be which. And then last but not least, we have the stand for this. That's the last of the plastic. And we have the stand, which, not gonna lie, very, very tall stand right here. Like, legit, I do have a bunch of stands because we do know that I do do Gunpla, but my god, this stand is taller than any of the stands previously. Plus, it also has a holster, too, which is meant to grab and hold on to her. Oof. That's going to be fun when you actually do the whole thing. Holds her pretty well. Not going to lie, I'm actually kind of like this. I might actually do some picture poses of other stuff with this stand right here. That's actually a pretty nice, sturdy stand. Not going to lie, kind of a little bit better than some of the Figma stands. This thing actually holds up tight. Ooh, now let's go with the articulation of the figure. So we're going with the articulation for the Adept Sword is Gemini. Overall, she can do a 360. Not bad at all. She can move her arm all the way over here. Move it a little bit up. Move it a little bit forward. General figure stuff. Hand right here can move, can circle around. It can do its, uh, the little up and down pose, whatnot. Same thing with the left one, right one, up and down, no problem at all. Uh, and go up, 
I can spin. No problems. Uh, she has a little bit of an app crunch right here. Uh, you can see right there. Uh, overall, the torso is mostly static, minus the top part being a little bit able to move. There we go. Top part is able to move. Uh, I'm pretty sure it moves 360. So I'm going to keep doing this a lot for these. The belt's actually pretty movable too, so this thing actually could spin. Legs right here are. Are these a ball joint? These are kind of ball joints, so. Not expecting these to move all the way up. I, because I have my too much experience with ball joints, but hey, they're able to do pretty well. Not gonna lie. Though so able to kick pretty good right about here. Bend right about there. Not bad, not bad at all. That's pretty much on the legs part. You can see right here, the feet don't have... Oh, no, wait. No, they do. Feet's able to go a little bit like that. That's actually pretty nice. I saw this and I saw it's like, oh, I guess the feet are just stagnant. No, the feet can slightly move a little bit up and down. Not bad at all. Same thing with the right leg. You can bend all the way. Oh, and it's a double joint. That's actually pretty nice. That's what I love about these figures. It's pretty nice. I don't know, I kind of like these figures more than what's it called, the, uh, than what, the, what do you call the six inch ones? Because these are 3.75 figures, or 118s. I'm mostly guessing these, at least size-wise, for most of my Star Wars minifigures that I have. But overall, pretty nice, the articulation is pretty well. And well, let's go also what, uh, the Adept Sword just comes with, actually, as well. Because I didn't do that. Okay, and this is what she comes with. First things first, like I mentioned before, she comes with a bolter that's pretty nicely detailed designed. Looking good and whatnot. That's going to be going to her trigger finger, which is going to be... Pretty sure it's this little finger right here. She does come with some um, four additional hands plus the two that she comes with. All of these are two closing... One closing hand. One open hand right here, which I'm pretty sure is able to hold the sword. Unless it's the other one too, because she has two trigger fingers, which is good. Another one that's hold, a holder hand for the sword. Power sword. Another trigger finger for the left hand. She has the other trigger finger for the... For the right one right there on her hand right now at the moment. Plus her left hand has the... Well, technically, this is a closed fist, but it's also technically almost an open fist. Sometimes I like figures that have these kind of fists. Uh, that way, they're still kind of closed, but they can still open as well. Then we got the nicely designed power sword right here. I'm pretty sure this is a power sword. If I am wrong and this is not a power sword, let me know. But generally speaking, I'm pretty sure this is a power sword. The detail in this is nicely designed. The sculpting is good. The painting is great. I can use a little bit better. Then we have the cloth right here that goes attached to her belt, I'm pretty sure. See right there, this claw thing. Oh, no. Well, I know I'm going to be doing repair work right about now because that's a little bit broken right there. I don't worry about it. I have uh, some men, so I can uh, repair that. I'll repair that after I'm doing after I'm done with the video. That's kind of sad. One broken thing. I'm glad this is the only broken thing and not want something on the figure because that's a little bit more work that I don't feel like doing. But this, I can repair this no problem at all. And then the wings. Which are just basically standing, stagnant wings. They don't move around. They're just that. They're just sculpted that way. Uh, what's called the detailing work is pretty nice. The coloring is good. The painting's job is done pretty well overall. With the pretty nice sculpted back wings, along with the uh, so Gemini uh, Gemini Superior. Also, the sculpting is pretty well done. Painting's good. Sculpting's great. Detail work is good. Overall, very nice figure. I'm actually really glad I got this. <sighs> but with that out of the way, this is the figure review of the Adept Sword as Gemini Superior One from Joe Toy Figure Brands. Uh, overall, the figure is pretty great, nice, nicely designed, sculpting is good, and all that weaponry is pretty great. There are some things I'm gonna have to do and fix whatnot, uh, but those are repair works I'm gonna do. There's small things that break off, but that's through shipping and whatnot. But overall, main figure is great. The weaponry is good. Comes with a pretty decent amount of uh, hand sculpting, so I can do different poses with the hands and whatnot. The posability is great. Figure is great. Uh, what's it called? Price wise for this one, this was actually a little bit pretty expensive. This was um, going around like around 40 ish, 50 bucks almost. I did get this on sale, so not bad on Amazon. What's it called? You can get yours around there. But with that out of the way, uh, this is the figure review for the Adeptus Sword is Gemini Superior 1. Uh, but if you really liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I would always appreciate it. Uh, but as always, it's Pyro Arden signing out. And as always, have a good day, folks. And I'll see you guys on the next one.